Well, the newest vaccines are probably centered around respiratory disease, sometimes called kennel cough, uh, Lyme disease, and leptospirosis. Those are the three targeted new ones, and there's really nothing really new for the cat that's come out in several years. As far as the respiratory complex, yeah, the big issue is we have oral vaccines, we have intranasal topical vaccines, and of course an injectable vaccine. So the veterinarian is faced with which one's the best, which one should be used, and I will say that our recommendations, as we've published them in the guidelines, emphasize the onset of immunity with the intranasal vaccine, probably similar with the oral, as two to three days, very rapid with one dose. And the duration of immunity, at least with the intranasal vaccine, is a year. <clears throat> we don't have good information on the others, but the fact is all of these Bordetella vaccines work. And we do feel that there's a slight advantage in giving the mucosal vaccines. Leptospirosis really being relooked at as maybe we should call that a core vaccine, which means every dog should get it. The reason is leptospirosis is zoonotic. It can be transmitted from dogs to people. And it appears to be increasing in prevalence. Uh, not very good studies, but clearly the risk for lepto has shifted from the big rural farm dog to the backyard dog. So there's a lot more animals technically at risk for lepto than we've ever realized in the past. And with the last one, which would be Lyme disease, is one factor that's very clear in human and animal Lyme disease is that it's spreading. And I've seen work that suggests that it might even cover the entire right half of the United States, the eastern half of the U.S., within the next couple of decades. It's spreading, and it's spreading rapidly. So the risk is there for dogs as well as humans. Lyme disease is not transmitted from dogs to humans. That's not a factor. But the fact is, Lyme disease vaccination does work, and veterinarians have quite an array of vaccines to choose from today. There are two older variety of vaccines that are killed Bactrans. I would generally recommend preference for the recombinant vaccines. They seem to immunize with equal efficacy, but the fact is that the recombinant vaccines that are on the market, there are two, are, tend to be less reactive.